Hello everybody and welcome once again to Galactic Science 2. So in this episode we should quite easily be able to do the, st the steel hull because we should have the resources because the dish has been coming in quite fast. So let's do that first of all. So we should be able to do hull and craft the steel hull. Well, actually I want to get this done so we can actually get this done. So we've got all the ingredients in here so let's just start that off. See, we've got the 85 dash. So that'll be processing now, I guess. It is fantastic. Now, also, when you look at this here, I've got too much silicon. And it keeps coming in. So let's go and stop that next job. I think I might remove this from my hand. It goes a bit, I go a bit fast. All I'm going to do to do that is set up a level emitter to turn this off. Because this is the one that's producing silicon in here. So... Let's to set it up, first of all, I think I would like to get the, this out and the level emitter. And if I can, I get a piece of silicon out of here. They come out every once in a while, there we go, we've got two. So I think we need to put it down like this. I'm not sure if I have to put it down one more. Let's just try. Oh, maybe it'll do. I hope this will do. Let's see if I can get it onto here. Yes, I can. So what I want to do with this level emitter now is I want to stay on it. When the, if I can, oh, I've got to click the level emitter itself, haven't I? So when we're getting, say, more than 10,000, we want to turn off on the, we want to turn it on or off? Let's have a look. If we get less than 10,000, we turn it on. So if we get more than 10,000, we turn it off. How about that? That's an ideal here. So all we need to say is what we're actually doing, so silicon hit. So that should be on, because it's more than 10,000. So what we all need to do is to configure the redstone mode here to be active without signal. I think that's the one we want. Let's just test it. Let's just turn the signal off here by making it say 100,000. So that's now off and that's carrying on again. So that's the right way around. So we'll make this 10,000. We don't basically, what well, the idea is, we don't want to fill up our, our system too much with, with stuff that we actually aren't going to use. So I could actually put that, no, I can't put it in the output port. So that'll keep that under control, which is, which is actually quite good. Now, the next thing I'm going to show you is a nice exploit. A really nice exploit in our favour this time. So I'll put this in over here. What I've got here is some refined iron. 150. The calculation for this, by the way, is um, 150. So it's 1600, which is the size of one tank, divided by 108. will give you 148 or thereabouts. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to smelt this down in here so we'll put it into this industrial crucible furnace it'll come on it'll come into into here into one of these tanks and we shall fill up one of these liquid steel to uh, an open blocks tank with liquid steel let's put some more into that in fact there's no reason i can't do all of these in fact in different ones so all three are smelting coming into here filling up to that tank so this tank should be get full what i also want to do while that's doing that is to get a quartz fiber because i think this will work without a quartz or just with the quartz fiber because if i'm not mistaken i think this bug is related to f um which, which module it would be related to i think it's related to extra cells so it's going to be hard to fix so now this is just about full. Got three more in there. That one's empty. That one's empty. That one's empty. So we just have a little bit more than this, but it doesn't matter. What we want is this amount here. I'm going to get another one of these out here, an empty one. Because what this exploit is, is it gives me basically infinite amounts of fluid. Now in here, 
at the moment we have some liquid steel. So what I'm going to do is remove this liquid steel from here and just put in an empty tank like that. Now, let's. Br I think this is where it's going to work. I'm not 100% sure. Let's just try it anyway. So if I break this now and put in a quartz fibre here. Let's use this tool to do now. That basically gives this all power. So these will receive, still receive power. So we can connect it back up again now. But it's not going to receive any signals. So you can see here, those, those are all lit up. They've got power. And what I'm going to do here is to put down this tank here of liquid steel. And what will happen is it gets drawn out and it gets put into this tank here. The trouble is, it doesn't empty out. This is staying 125 millibuckets of li liquid steel. But this one, I think you'll find this keeps going up. So now it's 26, 2750, 2850, 3000. And it's going to go up and it's going to fill this up completely. So what a nice way of getting whatever resource you want. <laughs> so I've done it with everything. Molten Vibrant, Liquid Gold, Energized Glowstone, Resident Ender, Red Destabilized um, Redstone and Molten Energetic Alloy. So it works with everything. It's quite, but you need one tank's worth and that's it. And then it'll just do it. So as you can see, that makes no difference. You can't access it. And I can take this off. It doesn't make any difference. Let's break that. Of course, it'll stop this for the time being. I'll leave it for the time being. We don't need those tanks of stuff at the moment. But what, of course, that also means is we can do other nasty things, other cheaty things. So, for example, I want to get some blocks of um, molten uh, energetic alloy. All I need to do is to put a metal caster on that, extract it down, feed it into there. Now, this is the other thing. I was getting a bit confused last time. Let's take this out if I don't need this in here. That's, that's all sure. Or should also be liquid steel. Good. Now, let's go along here. I'll put these away. So I've got, I've been testing it out. I've got tanks of everything. What I can do here is we would like to do this liquid steel problem. So I had, I'd got some energized glowstone. Let's just take one of those. And I got some destabilized redstone. Like that. And then I was mixing that with gold. Now, the, I was using liquid gold because of the recipe. Let's go along here. Let's take 64 gold. Now, if I put these in the Magna Crucible, these will turn into molten gold. Like that goes across there actually it's getting fed straight out and straight into here so we've now got molten gold so if I now put the redstone in here like that and then the glowstone in here it's going to make molten energetic that's what we'd expect yeah so let's just take this out of here I want to get it out basically because I want to show you that bug again so let's go and get a tank of liquid gold I've got some liquid gold in here, actually. I think it's this one. In fact, I've got a full tank of liquid gold here, look. Now, if I put this tank of liquid gold in this hollow mixer, we expect, from the recipes, so if you have a look at the uses of this, I'm not sure I can do it uh, that way. Liquid gold, I'll see. No, it's only going to decompose the actual... So we need a bucket of that. So let's have a look for liquid gold. So, liquid energetic liquid gold is this one. So that's made by the industrial crucible furnace, smelting gold. And the uses of this, well, we want the, we want the alloy mixing ones. Right, so here we have one. That's a liquid electrum so gold and silver obviously and this is the one here that we've got liquid energetic alloy so one of those liquid golds with liquid red destabilized redstone energized glowstone should produce that now there should be another one that's the destabilized one 
So that's the one we're going to do. So this should have produced liquid energetic alloy. So let's just see what it actually produces. It's producing molten energetic alloy. And what I didn't do last time was this, to remove that out of there. And now you see it's producing liquid energetic alloy. Isn't that just truly amazing? So I've actually got some tanks of liquid molten, liquid energetic alloy. I think that's this one. Has there got any more? It doesn't seem to be producing by anywhere near as much as it should do. We can put that into there and it can drain it all out. In fact, if I let it drain it out itself completely, it'll go back to molten again. Watch. See, it's now doing molten. Let's just drain that off. And now you see we've got molten and we've got liquid. We didn't even get an, a full tank of that, which is actually wrong. That should have been a full tank. So let's. Oh, well, actually, it should be a full tank because of the. We have to put two tanks of that in. So I can drain those off again. There's another one up here. So that was that bug. <laughs> Quite a few in here. Now I think that one's actually a bug from um, the pack. And I don't think the other one, I think the other one's a not bug from the pack. I think it's just a general bug or an exploit from extra cells. So anyway, let's put this stuff back over here. I don't want it all with me. Glowstone, I haven't got any more. Let's just put an empty tank in its place and it'll take it off. And redstone, we've got plenty of. Let's put that in here like that. And as you can see, Liquid steel is just about full. <laughs> Great exploit. And in here, we'll just put the other, the other metal, the other metals in here, and the spare tanks as well. In fact, I'll put the gold back in in here as well, so we have that one. So now let's go and see how we're doing with our steel hull. Has it been made yet? No. Nope. So it's actually crafting it. So that's probably well, the only problem here now is it's probably not set up in here. Yeah, that should have come into here. So all the ingredients should be in here. So we simply need to click the steel hole and then that'll actually produce the hole. I reckon this is one of those very, very big ones, isn't it? Right. So that, that will be done in a short while. That's interesting. Ah, yes, of course. The reason for that, and this is actually causing me some lag, so let's just fix that anyway. Because the snowman over, the snow golem over this corner here has, is not connected to the network anymore. So he's uh, not producing any snow. And he's the one, he's the main one, so we want him to do the work really. So let's just remove this, and that's all I have to do. And that should then, he should then be enabled. And as you can see, so the one upstairs should be disabled now. So the next thing I would like to do in this episode. Other than trying to get my CPU faster because it isn't, it is a bit getting too much lag at the moment. So what's the frame rate here? 17 frames per second. It's a bit on the slow side, so it's a bit jarry. I'm just wondering how to fix it. So if anybody's got any clues, let me know. I suspect one way is good to move stuff out of the base itself, out of the chunks that we're actually loading. So. Right, next thing I would like to do is to set up the plates. We need lots and lots of plates for these um, for the rocket tier three. So what we need are basically these 
no that's not going to help us not, not that one it's this one so we need heavy duty plate tier one so we need 64 reinforced alloy bronze and aluminium plates so let's see if we can actually get those set up first of all and then we'll get the casings done afterwards so bronze actually we've got plenty of both of these let's just take these along and then let's have a look at steel oh not steel refined iron oh we've got plenty of these and we've got a recipe for crafting plates anyway that's good so let's get one of these we just need one uh no cp is available in fact let's sort that out as well because we've got this over here and i oh, actually that shouldn't be crafting anything in here at the moment thinking about it but let's just take the crafting card out of here that should help things speed up let's have a look what we actually are crafting at the moment steel hull of course yes that's no big deal i don't think because it's only using one of those yeah this is the one it's crafting these things let's just cancel that off there and that's crafting snow of course in fact that should be very fast let's just cancel that one right so refined iron so we've got that one we've got 216 plates of course from the other one so let's take some of those let's set up these recipes now oops i need some refine i need an ingot don't i no i don't need an ingot because we've got a recipe already so let's come in to here how many patterns have we got four i think that'll do in fact can we before i do this actually let me double check what recipes i've got set up i've got bronze plates already set up so I've got bronze plates and refined iron plates ready already done, but the casings. No, I haven't got the casings set up good. So we'll create the casings. So one bronze plate is going to produce one casing. I think is it two casings? Let me double check. That's the assembly table. It looks like it's going to produce two because we need the metal form okay so it's two and i guess that's the same is true for this one i go for the recipe for this yes it's going to produce two so let's just make sure we get two of those like that and then things will work better and this again clear that off and we'll do two of these don't need those it's made for one plate like this and then the last one to actually make the plate itself let's do those actually i've just put everything back that uh aluminium was the other one wasn't it which i don't think we've got aluminium tin dense iron iron plates so we need an aluminium recipe don't we have i got any aluminium plates there i've got some aluminium that's what i need so we basically need a recipe for that as well so one of those let's go and get those because we need 64 of these anyway a frame rate's a bit better though but it's not actually still it's not good anyway it's still well below 30. That's the compressor. We want the metal former over here. I will put those into there like that. They should be producing aluminium plates. Let's just take one out so we can complete that recipe. Hope I have enough slots in there to be honest with you. Right, that's that one done. 
So that should be all we need to do. Let's clear that off. Oops, in our dictionary, let's clear it off. I don't think we need to or dictionary this stuff. So let's go and put these into the compressor. I might have a second compressor and metal form. Oh, I have got metal forms downstairs. Let's put those downstairs then. And I think the only one is this one. It is. So we should have some recipes in here. We do good. So we'll put the aluminium one in and the these two like that. So now we can craft all the bits that we need for those heavy plates. Let's go upstairs now and get this, that set up. So we need 64 of all of those, don't we? So to make a... What do we want? It was a it was plate, wasn't it? So where's the recipe for this thing? It's these, isn't it? Heavy duty plates. So we need 64 refined, 64 bronze and 64 aluminium plates. And that'll make one heavy duty plate. Now, can I see heavy duty plates in here? I can't for the time being, but we'll soon do that. Now, can I see it this time? There's probably more than one page, and I guess it's on the second page. Nope, it's on the first page. Just finding it, and it's just finding it in the GUI. Sometimes that's just tricky why can't I see it never mind I'll tell you what I'll do we'll just do the whole thing later on so let's get this all set up so plates so we want 64 of these that's 61 2 3 4 actually I've got plenty I could have put them back in here like that what are these copper plates? Refined iron, 216, good. And then aluminium plates. Okay, those are the three we need. Now we need casings. So we've got 164 of those. A 64 bronze, that's going to be fine. This is going to make a heavy duty plate. Let's see if I can see it this time because I need to see it now or we'll use something in its place. Hmm. Well, that's strange. I'll tell you what we'll do. Just put the rocket booster in its place. Oh, let's try that again. Okay, good. We'll fix that. I just can't see the heavy duty plates, which is strange. So that comes into the assembly table. We'll put it into the same one as this one. It's nearly finished this one, good. So we can actually ignore that for the time being. I'm going to put this stuff back. Now, I'm also, while I'm thinking about doing this, I'm going to make another, a waystone as well. I don't know why I couldn't see that thing. And I think wastelands are actually on the end. Here we go. 16 ender pearls, 16 and 64 and 64 bricks. Now, can we cast craft, craft bricks? I think we might be able to. We've got six. No, we've got no recipe for that. I'm going to create a recipe. Oops, I'm going to create a recipe for those. But that's a straightforward crafting recipe so let's have a look at the uses of recipe for this one let's see if we can ah is it because I've got no bricks in store maybe I've got no bricks I 
I haven't got any bricks, but clay. I've got 40 clay here. We've got 16,000 clay here. Um, I think I have to mind chem this, but it's inconsistent recipe. Let's have a look at the uses of this. I can extract it if we can do an extractor. And actually, that's actually quite a good recipe if we can do it. Or we can sag mill it. Let's have a look. Can we make an extractor? I'm actually not sure what an extractor looks like. I'll tell you what we'll do. I think I'll get rid of some of these stuff off here because I probably don't need it anymore. No, I'll get rid of it all because I'm sure I don't need it. So let's have a look for extractor. So this will be the industrial craft one. Oh, we can actually create this, I think, without too much problem. There's just these, which we can do. We need four. They don't stack, do they? That's why. Why these shouldn't stack, I don't know. Can we shift click anything in here? We just need one circuit. Let's craft one of those. And we can actually make an extractor. That'll give us four. That's actually quite a good way of doing it. In the meantime, we could actually take some, do this with some sag mill. So let's just get that doing from a sag mill because that's going to take a while because it's got two more large recipes to do. So let's just get the sag mill onto this one. Uh, in fact, the one I can use is the one I've been using for um, here for silicon. Ah, oh, no, I can't. I could use this one easily enough. Let's put the, the clay into there. And then that'll get sag milled into normal clay. Oh, and silicon. Oh, very good. So we should have enough silicon in the stock then. And then we could actually, we could create a recipe for bricks. I am using them from time to time. So let's actually do that. I probably need some more patterns as well. So how are we doing? Um... Actually, that's interesting because this is showed but up here. Never mind. So, what do we want? Um, a circuit won't be made yet. Clay. I wanted a brick, don't I? I've got a bricks. Clay. Right, I've got 16 clay. Oh, yes, of course, because of the stuff that we've been doing. So, now I should be able to clear that off. Take a recipe for here, and we want basically one clay becomes one brick. So let's go and take that into the this redstone furnace in here. I'm going to have to fix my frame rate, and I don't know what's causing it. I know it makes crappy videos when it's doing when it's not working very well. So uh, that'll come into here, won't it? Let those go through. So we basically what one of those will do that and I've got no more patterns in here but I think I should I've got plenty of patterns look 56 so that's that recipe that goes into the redstone furnace and then the last one is just the crafting recipe of these let's have a look for the recipe of that it's just a straightforward crafting recipe right that should be enough to do those fact I'm going to put that one into here because I know where it goes in here and I'm going to put the other one downstairs uh, but I'm going to put it in here to do it downstairs so we need the redstone furnace on here wrong one this one there we go so now we can craft bricks. We just we haven't can't get uh, clay at the moment. That's all right. 
So anyway, I'm messing around a bit. Let's see if our hole is ready, because really what I waited for was the hole. So now I do have the one hole. And I'm also waiting for that um, heavy duty plate, wasn't I? All right, we got one of those. Did I tell it to craft it? Let's have a look. Crafting 63 of those, we can cancel that, of course. No crafting job. So now we can craft the whole, um, what did I want to do? Heavy, wasn't it? Because I actually found it in here. So let's craft one of those. Start. And that'll come over here, and that should actually come into here, in this recipe here. What I want to do, oh, is to remove this recipe out of here now and fix this recipe. And sure enough, we've got our heavy duty plate there now too. In fact, that's already done. So we can take this out of here and fix that recipe at the same time. So heavy. So let's just fix these two recipes up and put them back in again. So let's clear that off. We don't need that one. So these are both wrong one put that into here yeah, that's a pro oh, it actually did change it for itself good and that's fixed that one so it's done one of those we can then update that so that's good and the next one we can put into here like that and then let's basically produce get rid of that and produce one heavy duty plate and update that so now our recipes are actually updated so we'll, put, we'll put those back in it again and then I'm going to call it a day and I'm going to try to figure out what I'm going to have to do to sort out my frame rate because it is just awful at the moment. So until next time, bye for now.